And now to more breaking news at this hour, a scare on campus. Students escorted away from Crescentia, La Crescentia Valley High School. It was because of a report of a suspicious person and what he was seen carrying. KCAL News reporter Rena Nakano was there live with late breaking information. Rena? Hey guys, yeah, we did get confirmation from the LA County Sheriff's Department that they did arrest a person just about a mile away and they are charging him with trespassing. Fourth period classes came to a screeching halt at Crescenta Valley High School after an emergency announcement came over the intercom. I was in the gym at the time and everyone was panicking. No one knew what to do. LA Sheriff's deputies got a call Wednesday morning about a suspicious man wearing dark clothing and a baseball cap carrying a duffel bag. He somehow got onto campus without signing in as a guest. No one at the school was expecting him. That's when the school went on lockdown. After a quick sweep, the deputies were unable to locate him. But to execute a more thorough search, all 2,600 students and staff were escorted to the church across the street. Three canines began sniffing for the person or possible contents of the tuffle bag. This is precautionary in nature. We just didn't know what this person was doing and if perhaps this was, you know, something innocent or if in this case some, he had something more nefarious in mind. But we wanted to check the school and evacuate and make sure nothing was left behind for the safety of the students and staff. By 2.30, many students were reunited with their parents who said they were all expecting the worst. Nowadays, you never know what's going to happen. You can, can't trust anyone and anyone can walk into a school nowadays and cause a lot of harm and, and you know, that's the parents' uh, worst nightmare. Yeah, and L.A. County Sheriff's deputies say that shortly after the arrest about a mile away, they say they were able to clear this campus right here. They say they found no weapons, no drugs, uh, nothing really that was potentially in that duffel bag. So they were able to deem it all clear. But again, for those many hours leading up to that all clear, students, staff and parents say it was a terrifying time. Live out here in La Crescenta, I'm Rena Nakano, KCAL News. All right, thanks so much, Rena. And let's bring in assignment editor Mike Rogers now at the desk. And Mike, you've been making some phone calls trying to learn more about that suspect. So what can you tell us? Hi, Pat. Yeah, I can tell you that the arrest, like Rena mentioned, just a mile away from a school, a very busy coffee shop. Now, I've been able to look at some pictures uh, of the person they took into custody. Unfortunately, I can't share those with you just yet. We're working on some uh, clearance and permissions issues there. But uh, he did have a bag. He was sitting at a, a table w with his computer uh, when Sheriff's Department deputies came in, uh, questioned him, detained him until a school staff member who saw him on the campus originally could come and positively identify him. Now, I asked the Sheriff's deputies what was in the bag that he had. He had a large black duffel bag, uh, and they said nothing of concern to them. They didn't find anything uh, of concern on him as well. They really don't know why he did this or what prompted him uh, to go on the campus this morning, but just at a Starbucks down the street a mile away, where they were able to take him into custody. I asked, did someone see him and call it into you guys? And they said, no, a deputy was just searching the area around 3.30, just before 3.30, uh, when they were able to see him, spotted him from the images they had earlier at the school, uh, took him into custody. Pat, I can also tell you that because, uh, I don't want to say, you know, only trespassing, but because only trespassing is the alleged crime here, all he'll be given is a ticket. He'll be released tonight. He will not go to jail tonight because of this. If they are able to later on determine another crime was committed, then they'll reassess from there. But right now, it's just a simple sight and release trespassing. Uh, I also asked if they had recognized him. Have they dealt with him before? Uh, they said they don't immediately recognize him as somebody they frequently deal with in that area. That doesn't mean he doesn't have any kind of criminal background. But uh, at face value, it's not somebody they recognize. Okay, Mike, thank you.